So the Coots view, so we've had Brexit Mark II, we've had Trump win, clearly. There is some volatility in markets, we expect that to continue. But as Michelle said, I think it was very interesting her perspective on what is the reality of Trump policies. Actually, some of them are very business friendly, and over time, maybe the market will focus on those. Clearly, some concerns about tariffs, and John alluded to, in terms of markets, John alluded to the volatility we've seen and potential opportunities, and I think he made a, a very good analogy with Brexit. And if we look at Brexit as a roadmap, you know, some similarities, there are obviously some differences as well. But if we look at what really weakened post Brexit, sterling, UK oriented stocks, the so called 250, the mid sized stocks, and also commercial property, well, two out of those three, commercial property and the 250 stocks, came back very, very sharply. Clearly, sterling weakened. That goes to show there was really opportunities post Brexit and certainly shouldn't panic. So Coote's approach is to be stoical, take a longer-term view, look to be contrarian, and look for opportunities. So we'll sift through this volatility and look for opportunities to add value to Coote's portfolios. So overnight, we've seen a big market reaction. It does mean for our portfolios we're likely to be down because the equity component in particular and some of the currency components will make a big impact. But we've seen this before. It's part and parcel of being a long-term investing investor. You do see weakness in markets. You do see sharp sell-offs. We are diversified, we are broadly neutral versus our strategic asset allocation, so we have plenty of room to add to risk. It's a time not to panic. If you look back in history, these are times generally you want to add to risk and add to exposure. So generally a good time to invest. It may not seem like that now with a lot of panic in the air, but it's time to look for opportunities.